After Vol for Life, Albert Hainsworth announced this week he is in dire need of a kidney donor. The Tennessee Donation Services says it has seen a bump in the number of questions about organ donation since that announcement on Instagram by that football star. But new technology designed at Vanderbilt Medical Center could make kidney donations unnecessary. Carly Gordon explains how an artificial kidney could save lives every year. To the untrained eye, this looks like a little computer chip and this a piece of plastic. But what you're seeing is the product of years worth of research that could soon save hundreds of thousands of people's lives. Probably like 15 degrees. It's gotta be. We found Joshua Survey standing on the side of the road asking for a kidney. I guess if you want something bad enough, you're gonna fight for it. He's far from alone. 700,000 Americans are suffering from kidney disease. 100,000 are on a wait list for a transplant. The rest don't qualify and endure dialysis instead. It's physically exhausting, and the sad truth is 20% of them die every year. So if I get into a car accident tonight on the way home and I get kidney failure as a result, I'm not going to live to see my child graduate from high school. Dr. William Fassell has dedicated his career to finding a solution. We would like to engineer a bioartificial kidney, a universal donor kidney, so that every single patient who's confronted with failing kidneys has an option. Tonight, he's done it. He's manufactured an artificial transplantable kidney using cell phone technology and plastic. We can routinely filter blood with it for extended periods of time. We worked through the engineering challenges of blood biocompatibility and clotting and the surgical techniques and so on to the point where now we have an implantable filter. The implications are astounding. We're talking about taking people off of that wait list, giving them a second chance at life. The technology is there, the funding is needed. I'll feel good about it when I can see patients who otherwise would be suffering, otherwise would be looking at premature death, and they get to go to their kids' high school graduation. They get to watch their children get married. They get to meet their grandchildren. That's when I'll feel happy about it. Again, that story to us out of Vanderbilt. Doctors hope to start clinical trials within a year. They'll cost about $11 million. Doctors would like to start performing those life-saving transplant surgeries within the next five years.